Hey everyone, October is in the books, so I wanted to take a couple minutes to share my trade results for the month of October. Uh, before I jump into my stuff, uh, Chad runs our day trading live stream a few days a week in the mornings at the open. And so here's his results. On the Mighty 90 strategy, he took 17 trades, 65% win rate, 1,871 on those trades. Volume runners, 23 trades, 78% win rate, 4,415. And then on the continuation runners, 14 trades, a uh, small profit of 131. So total 54 trades, 65% win rate, 6,417. So nice month there. I had a, uh, my best month ever, just a monster, over 117,000 for all of my trading strategies. This is the first time I've cracked six figures in a, in a calendar month with all the trades that I share with the community. So awesome stuff. Let's break down uh, by the different strategies, starting with zero DTE AM ratio. So uh, these have, uh, the AM ratios have struggled, as you can see, minus 5,500 on those for the month. Uh, had a little string of three pretty sizable losers there, kind of mid towards the end of the month. Uh, so a little bit red on the AM trades on my DKS, AKA the Dick K special, uh, just slightly green had, had one, uh, big loss. And that's, that's how this strategy works. I mean, you're going to have, uh, it's a very high probability trade, but when you do have a loser, it's typically going to be a big one. So big one there, but still green for the month. Uh, zero DTE ducks. So this is a strategy that I ended up killing going forward <clears throat> at this time. I still think it's a good strategy, but based on the criteria and what happened on the days that I traded, it just has really struggled. So you can see almost $25,000 loss on zero DTE ducks for the month of November, not to mention it's got a pretty high correlation with, uh, with another strategy of mine. Um, no FOMC trades, but we will have one in November, uh, JSP. So this is the other one that the ducks are highly correlated with. So between the ducks and this, uh, over 50,000 of losses for the month of October. So you can see, I did a lot of discretionary ones. I'm going to be taking those out for the month of November, and then I will still be trading these, but not the ducks. So, uh, pretty, pretty sizable losses in those two categories. But what really carried me, and sometimes I wonder, should I just trade Power Hour? Because it just uh, absolutely crushed it in October. Over 130, almost 132,000 in profits just in Power Hour, just trading the last hour of the day. You can see a win rate of over 70% on 65 trades. That win rate higher than normal. Uh, our win rate on Power Hour typically between 60 and 65%. Uh, so the win rate was up a little bit, not to mention, you know, you can see just the value of what high implied volatility does when you're selling premium. So monster month for power hour. Uh, and then the PM ratio trades. Let me get those all clicked. Make sure I refresh, get that right. Yeah. So nice month on the PM, a little over 8,000 on those trades. Uh, did have a few losers in there, uh, out of three losers out of eight trades, but still profitable over 8,000 on the PM trades and the quiet lunch, a few different variations of those refresh. So a little bit red for the month minus a little over 2,400, eight trades, uh, five winners, three losses on the quiet lunch strategy. And then my reverse iron condor, AKA uncle Rick. You refresh. Uh, yeah, a little bit red minus 1700. So I took, uh, three different losses. One of them, one of these was mismanaged. As you can see, I flagged myself. Uh, so that actually, a lot of folks in our community ended up booking a winner. So where it could have, should have, would have been a $2,000 winner ended up being a $2,400 loser. And that's just, uh, my mistake on that one. I completely botched it, mismanaged it. So that would have been, that would have made us a, a green on Rick for the month, but as it stands, uh, minus 1700 on reverse iron condors. So that's it for zero DTE. 
On Dynamic Butterflies, the only thing I traded this month was the Time Flies. Uh, excellent month there. You can see had one break-even trade, an exact scratch. The rest were all winners uh, for almost $12,000 on the Time Flies. Dynamic Calendars. Let me get through and click all these. I've got a lot of different calendar strategies. Ended up, I think it was a little over 4000 in profits on the calendars, but let me get these all clicked. Yeah, so almost 5000 4978 62.5% win rate on 32 trades. Uh, six, seven, so just pointing out a couple of the nice ones, six, seven plus 2,600. You can see I had a, a single calendar and SPX for minus 4,400. A couple others plus or minus a thousand TGIF for 1400, a one, two for 1200, a three, four for minus a thousand. And the others kind of just smaller, smaller, uh, profits and losses. And then next category would be Iron Ducks. Small scratch plus 156 had one uh, sizable loser. The others were, were small winners. So small green on Iron Ducks for the month. Option selling strategies. Had a nice month here. So a little over 4,000 on the option selling strategies. Had a nice winner on a hedgehog for 3,400 in ES. Uh, $1,400 winner on a short strangle in soybeans. Uh, minus 1,500 on a VXX trade. And then the others are plus or minus less than 1,000. So option selling. And then the last category is the portfolio margin trades. It was a wild, wild uh, month of P&L swings uh, with portfolio margin, with, with volatility spiking and contracting, spiking and contracting, ended up coming out on the positive side, plus 13,000 on portfolio margin trades. But you can see some, some pretty big winners and losers here. Uh, $16,000 winner on a golden butterfly, a $3,600 loser on a Humpty, $4,000 loser on a Golden Goose. Uh, these these two actually should be combined. You can see when I uh, toss was having some upload issues, so I had to upload from TD Ameritrade. One is categorized as SPXW, one's SPX. So if you combine these, this is actually one trade that was about minus 6000 uh, I had a $20,000 winner on a Golden Shark. $2,200 loser on a Humpty, $1,600 winner on a Call Swoosh. Some of these others, you know, minus 3,000, minus 6,000, plus 5,600, plus 3,500, minus 39, minus 62. So some big winners and some big losers. Happy to be coming out on the positive side here. I'm very light on portfolio margin strategies right now, uh, waiting for some additional setups to happen. But overall, profit-wise, uh, plus 13,000 on portfolio margin. So that is it for all my trades for the month of October. I really look forward to November. I think it's going to be another fantastic month. If you're interested in following along, you can just go to navigationtrading.com, click on the pricing button, and you can see uh, multiple different memberships that are available for individual memberships or our pro membership covers everything, all the strategies that I just uh, showed you in my, in my trade results. So Look forward to November. See you on the inside.